Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray, and you're watching Mixtress Video. Um, today I am going to... Oh, I set this thing up backwards. Oh, well. My little TV table. <laughs> um, that's okay. Today I'm going to um, take apart this iPod Mini. And I'm going to um, put a new battery in it and a new um, 200 gigabyte um, micro SD card to serve as the hard drive. I've done this one other time and um, so I thought, hey, the first time I was really nervous so I didn't want to um, do it on camera. But this time I thought, hey, you know, I've done this one other time so maybe I can do this um, on camera this time. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the packages just so we won't have to mess with that once we get this thing open. Sorry, I wanted this to be kind of an ASMR thing, but this first part really isn't while I'm taking apart the packaging here. But perhaps I can just sort of give you like a little, hey, it's ASMR starting now. I'm just gonna sort of open this stuff off camera so it's not as loud. Should have done that beforehand, but you know, whatever. I'm a booger queen, you guys know that. I'm not feeling insanely talkative today. There's just been a lot of uh, stuff going on in my life. And so I'm just gonna do this thing. And I mean, I'll, I'll probably babble to a certain extent, but um, no promises. Okay. So just, if you wanna use this kind of as a tutorial, I have locked the iPod and I spent like a, a minute or so, I probably should have done longer, um, with a hairdryer on a cool low setting, just sort of going over the top and the bottom just to kind of loosen the adhesive a little bit. And the tools that you will need to do this, you'll need something to pry open the top and bottom, which I was sent these, I, I ordered like a little $2 kit for the last time I did this. And I've used these, they're, they're pretty bad, like they're pretty messed up. And I just got sent these with the battery as you probably saw. So I'm gonna try to use these this time. These worked pretty well for me. Obviously you could just use like a regular guitar pick that's sitting around your house if you have one or just go buy one for like 10 cents that this one was probably the most useful tool that was in the little kit that I bought. Um, so I kind of wish I hadn't bought a kit. It was only two dollars. But um, okay, so you'll need something to pry open the top and bottom. So like guitar picks, little tools like this. You'll need um, a tiny little flathead. Well, the flathead I just used to um, pry open the like connector for the click wheel and little things like that. Um, so it's not actually required. You just need something to do that with, which you could probably use guitar pick for that too. But you do need a little um, Phillips head screwdriver, just a little tiny baby one. And that's it. I mean, depending on what you're doing with it, if you want to replace the battery, you can find them online for like six bucks. This one was six bucks on Amazon. And then um, SD. You just need a CF adapter in order to, because that's what's in here for the hard drive, is compact flash. So you'll need an adapter for, or if you can find compact flash in the size that you need. Um, I think they only go up to like 32 gigabytes, but I mean, if that's enough for you, um, that's pretty great. I like this because I 
by doing this with this 200 gigabyte micro SD card, I'm going to be able to have my entire music collection with a lot of room to grow because I only have like 104 gigabytes of music. I'm going to have a lot of room to grow with this. Make sure you install all this stuff properly. That went in really far. But I mean, surely that's right. Okay. So this is the hard part. Getting in there and taking this baby off. As they've said in other videos, you can look up on YouTube. Um, I'm sorry if anything is not in the shot when it's supposed to be, because um, I can't really see what my shot is right now, since I do everything with my iPhone. As people have said on a lot of YouTube videos, it's easy to damage the aluminum when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm going to try to remember how I did this. Of course, I don't really need to because I can just line it all up. Ooh, that didn't really have. I kind of broke the adhesive up pretty badly on that. That's okay. And I think I did okay with the aluminum. I don't think I messed it up. It's already just sort of dented right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a Booker Queen ASMR tutorial. I wanted to do this in real time because I think that's more interesting. That way you guys can just sort of see. See, and it just, it messes up the tool pretty badly. I guess that's partially just adhesive on there. This one's going to be harder, I think. But I've seen people do these tutorials. This part sucks because it's sticky and like I need to brace it on something, but when I do it's sticking to this little bag here. They usually speed through this process. In um, videos, so you don't have to see all this struggling. And it is a struggle. That last one was easy. This one's not going to be easy. Because you kind of have to pry the aluminum away from it. Sorry if I keep going out of shot. in there. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. There we go. Just gotta get under there enough.
So the first time I did this, I did it for my mom for Mother's Day. So she now has a an iPod mini that can hold 200 gigabytes of music. And then I was just addicted to the process and wanted to do it again for myself. So I bought myself a mini and the battery is real bad on this one. So. So this is also a part that can be difficult getting this little this little clip we have to take out and this side is the side that has the connector to the clip wheel or click wheel sorry so you have to be even more careful on that end making like weird crunchy sounds. I don't like that. This side is like kind of out. I forgot I used Michael's got some like pliers that I kind of used last time. Surely if I've got this side up, I can just kind of pull it out sideways, right? crunchy sounding. That doesn't seem good. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I just bent that. Okay, this is the side with the click wheel. Just want to remember that. Hopefully, I can get that baby back in there. That was not smooth. A little piece of adhesive in there. Okay. All right, that was not smooth. The first time I did this, <laughs> that went much smoother. much smoother. Okay, I need somewhere to put the screws because there are two little screws on this side that I need to undo and I want to put them somewhere really safe so that they don't get lost. Okay, this is weird, but I'm just going to put them right here on this candle. So let's do that. Next. Anyway, this is, I'm not being quite as delicate as I was the first time because worst case scenario, which this would suck, so I do need to stop being so careless. Worst case scenario, um, I fuck this all up and I have to buy myself another mini. This is probably not is also probably not the best time for me to be doing this because of all the stuff that's been going on in my life. I just realized you guys probably cannot even see what I'm doing. Okay, so once you take the two screws out of the top, there's this little, this is the connector to the click wheel right here. So, I don't remember this part being in the other one. That looks weird. I don't remember that. 
So you need to pry it up very gently. like the crazy little sounds that it's making. It's making like crunchy little sounds that make me think that something's wrong. There's something in there or something. I don't know. Okay, so I got that out. Hopefully it's not damaged. Okay, so at this point, once you've done that, you can push this up. There's the casing. Just set that aside there. And here is all of the innards. I'm just gonna set it down very gently here and now we just need to install our new elements here. So first this is the battery, a little piece of adhesive there, and here's the connector for it. People never seem to say anything about being too careful with this part, so I'm pretty sure I could just reach in there and pull it out. Which doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have been having a great last couple of months. Um, being too delicate with it. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the hard drive first before I put the battery in. So, with that, we sort of need to remove this tape that's around the housing here. And you don't have to be too delicate with it because if you're, since you're replacing this with flash storage, you're not going to have moving parts, so you don't have to reattach the tape. Like, you can if you want, but you don't really have to, so being super delicate with the tape is not really required here, and you won't necessarily need it. I think I, whenever I did this before, I used a little bit of the tape, so you just sort of gently need to get it off this top portion. So you can take these rubber things kind of away from the top of it. Okay, so once you got that, you just have to gently pry, I don't know if you can see, but there's like tiny, tiny little See where all these holes are in this little baby? Tiny, tiny little teeth that are attaching. So you just need to pry that gently so you don't damage the connector here. There we go. Okay. So now that you got this baby off, I think I'm gonna use these little rubber pieces if I can.
but it's possible it's going to be too tight of a fit in order to use the rubber pieces. Okay, so now that we've done that, this we can set on the bottom here. Is that how it went? It looks like that's how it went. because it looks like it's sort of impeding the area where the connector is. Oh, maybe I'll just put it on the bottom. Again, I'm sorry if I keep getting out of frame. I probably am. Okay, so this part, oh, I'm kind of shaky. It's just been that kind of like, the my week has been so stressful that like, maybe I'll wait to put that on once I get this connected. That might be the easier thing to do. Okay, so I need to, sorry, I need to get close enough to do this. Yeah, I've got it lined up easier than it looks. There we go. See, it doesn't even really need the little rubber pieces. Oh, I'm sweating. Whew. Okay. Now I remember with this, whoops, that's the old battery. You don't want that. I'm assuming we need to take the tape off with this. <laughs> um, I've watched tutorials on how to replace the hard drive like a gazillion times, but I don't think I've ever watched tutorials on how to replace the battery. This battery does seem, I mean, it's a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll put this little foot on the back of this one in the same spot. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing that off frame thing again. Okay, I know the red went on this side. seems attached. It's not long enough. Huh. The way that this one was attached was like this, but the cord isn't long enough to do that. Hmm. I guess I can do it like this. I mean, does it really matter which way it's facing? Probably not. Surely not. Okay. So this is the part that's gonna suck, is keeping these cords out of the way when we put it all back together. Okay. I think that looks good. I'm gonna take a look at the little thing that the battery came in just to make sure. Battery, charging time of battery, do not blah blah blah, battery. Okay, so it doesn't actually like tell you how to do all of this, but I know that the red was on the left. 
So I mean, I know I connected it properly and how it's sitting in here is probably not important. It is thicker though, so I'm a little worried about getting this whole thing back in the casing. A little worried about that, but let's just go ahead and try it. I'm going to set this stuff aside. pretty sure the first time I did this it took less time <laughs> it took like 20 minutes the first time I did this okay, I'm gonna look at I'm just gonna eyeball everything just to make sure I didn't get any dust inside the screen or anything okay looks pretty good now when you put this back in there's like a little lip in here that you kind of have to get it to catch on And actually, I'm not sure if the objective is to get it under the lip or over the lip. Over. Over. And there's the part. Okay, check the screen real quick. Looks good. Looks like I got it in there properly. Now we want to reconnect this connector here, which is not as hard to reconnect it, connect it as it was to disconnect it. Oh, let's hold it in place a little bit while we're doing that. Okay, I think I got it. Because it do does sort of make a little bit of a clicking sound. Okay. Next step, put the screws in or the clip. Probably either way, it would be fine, whichever one you decided to do. Ah. I realize this is not like a very good tutorial video because well I mean it's just not a tutorial video essentially because you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm not doing like a I don't really have the equipment to do proper macro focus I mean I probably could do it okay with my iPhone but I I just wanted to do like a real-time situation here so you could see what I'm doing or so you could just be with me on the experience of it why is this so hard to go in that is alarming because oh maybe I'm putting the wrong screw in the wrong place and it shouldn't matter But let's try it the other way just in case. Why is it doing that? It's like it's meeting with resistance. Maybe I should put the clip on first. It's just a little harder, but maybe it's okay. I don't want to force it. The housing is a little bent on this side, so maybe that is causing the resistance, and maybe it's nothing to be too alarmed about, I hope. Okay, let's put that fucking clip back in. Okay. This is the side that had the click. This was the side that had the click. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like those crunchy sounds, man. Don't like it at all. Oh, okay, that side's in. And now that side. It looks a little janky. Let's move it over just a tiny bit. Because it needs to be clear of the 30 pin connector there. Okay. Hey, that's the hard part right there. So now we just, right? Now we just put this stuff back on. fragmenting this is not as cute of a process as it was when I did it the first time in fact I'm not totally sure why this isn't going back in properly because I am putting it on right okay let's do the top Oops. God, I'm ridiculous. I shouldn't have done this today, essentially. But I did. And I am. Oops, don't want to unlock it yet. Do not want to unlock it yet. Okay. I think the adhesive just was not hardcore enough. When I did this for my mom, it was much better. Maybe I wasn't gentle enough whenever I... Oh. Something's wrong. Maybe I don't have it lined up correctly. Hmm. It's in. It's in. The clip is in. Maybe it needs to be moved over this way a little bit more. Can't tell. I know with this, I sort of have to make sure the side with the, well, shit. Okay, I think it's like that. Oh, I hope I didn't damage the click wheel cable. This is bent outwards. That's part of the problem right there. Okay, well, that's better. I think I was putting it on there wrong. Fuck. Okay, I need to make sure. Because it looks kind of weird. I need to make sure I can plug my cable into it. Sorry, I'm doing this off screen because my cable is too short. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, that's the process. And the fact that the screen turned on does mean at least that I installed the battery correctly. And um, this is the part of the process that, um, sorry, I was making sure I was still recording. This is the part of the process that people don't seem to mention very often in the, um, sorry, I'm gonna lock this again. I was gonna kind of hold it closed pretty firmly. The part of the process that people don't seem to mention in the tutorial videos that I thought I would just mention for you guys really quick, even though mine is definitely not a good tutorial video, 
is um, when you plug it into iTunes, after you've finished with your upgrade process, um, this is why I didn't paint my nails right before I did this, because I just did this during this process. Um, I had to plug it into iTunes. Hmm. I would say that process to get iTunes to recognize this again, because you have to restore it after you upgrade the hard drive, of course. And um, to get iTunes to recognize it, um, is it wasn't showing up. It was showing up on my desktop as a um, as a micro SD card, but it wasn't showing up as an iPod. iTunes wasn't recognizing it. And that process took longer than just taking it apart and upgrading it took. So that part people don't mention often in the videos. Um, but I, what I had to do was I just, and I was like Googling like how to fix it and blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't finding much information. And what I ended up doing was I just kept plugging it into iTunes over and over and over. And eventually, um, iTunes recognized it and God, I hope I didn't damage anything. Eventually iTunes recognized it. Click wheel feels kind of loose and it was fine and done. So that's the process I'm going to have to go through right now is um, just, that was not a, an, elegant, an elegant procedure. I'm really glad that when I did this for my mom, because it was a Mother's Day gift, whenever I did this for her, putting all of her music on an iPod mini so she can use it in her car. Luckily, whenever I did it for her, it was a much more elegant process and it didn't look janky when I put it back together as this one kind of does. Why does it look dirty? I just cleaned it when I got it the other day. Anyway, so we're going to see now if it works. <laughs> it might take, you know, it's probably going to take an hour or two at least for me to get iTunes to recognize it, sync it with all my music, and make sure that everything's working properly. But um, I will, I'll put in the description notes whether or not everything worked out. How about that? Because I will be doing that before I think about editing this video and putting it up. So, um, and then if it all works out, which it will eventually, even if it doesn't work right now, even though it even if I completely messed up this particular iPod, I will in the near future find another one on eBay for 15 bucks or so and I will do it again um, and just take the battery and hard drive out of this and put it in a different one and I'll just keep trying until it works. Um, but hopefully it worked this time. And whenever I do get it up and running with all of my music on it, I'll probably do a what's on my iPod. Um, I'll spend a few weeks with it and I'll give you like an iPod mini review slash what's on my iPod or something like that. And it'll be really fun. So um, thank you for watching this real time take apart of an iPod mini. <laughs> I will um, see you guys next time. Bye.